Hi guys! Today I am going to show you how I style my hair with this bed head. This is a Massive Shine Wave Artist Deep Waver. This is what it looks like and you can see that it basically is like three curling irons. So it has, see the three holes right there? But you see right there how it has like this deep arch right there? This one is better than any um, triple barrel curling iron I have ever, ever tried because this gives such a nice deep crimp to your hair. So I will show you what I have in my hair before I started. First I put in this Olaplex oil number seven and this Olaplex uh, bond smoother number six. So six and seven to hydrate my hair really, really well. Then I put in this Blossom Jojoba Curly Hair Lotion. This is incredible, you guys. Even when I style my hair and let it um, dry naturally and scrunch it, this is so hydrating. It holds your curls or your waves, but it doesn't make it crunchy at all. So I put this in and I let my hair start drying naturally and then I just blew dry the rest of it just kind of drying it just to get all of the dampness out. So I have no style in my hair right now, but this will work if you try to scrunch your hair or put it in braids. There's so many different ways that you can get waves and this is what I've been using, amazing. Um, two more things that I don't have in my hair right now, but that are great for wavy curly hair no matter how you're gonna style it. This is a Garnier Fructis. Curl Renew Reactivating Milk Spray, and this is Elastic QP Olive Oil Mango Butter Design Foam. The design foam will also work to put in your hair when it's wet to style your hair. So either one of these, I would say, put in your hair before you do this. The reason that I do this before I use the waver is because it will hold the waves in my hair until I wash it. I can sleep on it, I can put my hair up in a ponytail, I can do anything, and these waves will stay in my hair. So it's basically just using a product that will help hold the waves and they will stay until you wash your hair. The last thing I'm gonna do while my hair is dry is I'm gonna put in a heat protector. This one is my favorite one. It also helps your hair dry quicker. I already sprayed a little bit of this in my hair, but I'm gonna put even more just because I'm putting heat on my hair. This is L'Oreal Blow Dry Quick Dry Primer Spray. Cuts dry time and heat protection. Everything I show you here is in my Amazon store. That is where I purchase all of these products. This is what my Amazon store looks like and you can click the follow button at the top of the store and you'll be notified of all of the new items that I add to my store. Then you can see the pictures that I've added of outfits I'm wearing from my Amazon store. If you find something you like, you can just click on it and right below the picture, it will show you all of the items that I'm wearing in the photo. So you can shop that way as well. Then I have everything in categories. You can just go through all the categories. If you find anything that you like, you just click on the category and you can go through each item to shop that way. Here's the hair section, so if you just click on that, you can see all of the items in there and just shop them directly from my Amazon store. This is where I purchase pretty much everything and hopefully this will make it easier for you guys to find everything that I talk about in my videos. It's also where I purchased the heat waver. 
It is the number one selling um, waiver, triple barrel waiver on Amazon, and you will see why in a minute. So I'm just adding some more heat protector. You want your hair super protected, hydrated, ready for the heat. One of the main things when you are styling your hair with heat is you want your hair hydrated. If your hair is dry, it's not going to curl. I figured that out before when I'm like, what is going on with my hair? It's just not holding a curl. It's, it's not, um, it's like I'll, I'll put the heat on my hair no matter what kind of styling tool it is and it's not bending and then I tried to hydrate my hair really well and it worked like a charm. Just gonna comb that through. My hair is super thick. I am going to section it off. If your hair is not really thick you can just leave your hair down and do it in sections, but I really want to get every inch of my hair waved. And this is just easier when you have thick hair to section it off like this. You can see my natural hair, even after blow drying it, already has like a little bit of wave. So another thing you can do is just scrunch your hair, let it air dry, and whatever areas of your hair you want to add more wave to, you can just take the wave artist and create the waves with this along with already your natural wavy hair. Doesn't have to be wavy, you can do this on pin straight hair and it will still work amazing. So I am going to clamp it with this barrel out. Everything that I do is gonna be this barrel out. If you want a ton of volume, flip it this way. So the indent is there because what's gonna happen is clipping this this way is going to start the first piece at the root and pop it out. I honestly don't need any more volume in my hair, so every time that I crimp it, I'm doing this barrel out. Oh, let me just show you this really quick. So it has an on-off switch right here. The only, all right, there are two things that I do not like about this. So if they redo it and fix these two things, it will be the most perfect thing in the world. So two things I don't like. One is that the, here it is. The heat um, adjustment is a dial. I would love it to be digital so you can see exactly how hot it is. So it's, it's just got a high-low, like this little dial right here. So I go all the way up to high and then I, boom, dial it back. So it's basically halfway. So that's all the way low, that's all the way high. And I just do like a little trigger backwards so it's more on the high side but kind of in the middle. The other thing is that you have to hold it. You have to use your hand like this and keep it squeezed tight through the whole thing where, for example, see my curling iron? You open it, you put the hair in, you let go. You're not, you don't have to clamp it. You see what I'm saying? This stays open so I'm I have to squeeze it like this, but like this barrel, I can put the hair in, let go, and it holds it. I wish they had this the other way, like this. So you open it, let it go, and clamp it. Some of the other triple barrel curling irons do have that, but they are nowhere near give as amazing waves as this one. Literally everything else about this waiver, I love. Okay, so I'm going to start at the bottom, barrel out. I'm gonna go up, clamp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The smoke is the heat protector. Not bad, not a bad thing. Okay, so then the next one, I'm gonna come down right where that crimp is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go. Come down right where the crimp is. Another ten seconds. And see how I'm like pushing it up? 
You don't want to pull because that will pull out the waves that you're creating. So at the very bottom, get the, the ends in. I don't do the ends as long. That is a lot quicker at the bottom. And look at that, you guys. Look how gorgeous that is. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Like, look at the difference. This versus this. Like, look at this shine. And that will stay until I wash my hair. So I'm doing this really slow just to show you, but it's so quick, super quick. All right, now I'm coming on this side. Ow, ow. Be super careful because it is scalding hot. I like hit my neck with this thing all the time. Well, actually because I'm looking in the mirror, I'm not concentrating. So I'm going to look over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go down to the next crimp. Start where you left off. Keep pushing up like this. Come down. Lift up. Don't pull on the hair like this. Lift up like this. Come down to the ends. Oh, hang on. Got to get in there and a quick crimp at the bottom. Boom! Come on, light. Look how gorgeous. I love this thing so much. Okay, then I'm gonna go down to the next layer. Again, if your hair is thin, you don't need to be sectioning it off like this. The smaller the sections that you take, the wavier it's going to be. So I have actually destroyed my hair before with bleach and have been working really hard to get my hair back. And I have been taking St. Tropica hair growth vitamins for about a year and a half and my hair has completely transformed. It is so thick and so healthy and growing like a weed. I will also link those below for you guys. I just did like a major bleach on my hair and went blonde and then I decided that I wanted to go a little kind of in between. So this color that I have right here is light golden brown and I absolutely love this color. This is a custom color from eSalon and I have a subscription with them. I absolutely love it. I will never use box dye again on my hair. See, I even just combed through that piece kind of by accident and it's still staying perfectly. Once it cools, it's like there, it's not gonna move. Especially with the products that I put in before. If you guys think, oh, this takes too long, it's really not, it's quick. And just the fact that, okay, take, say, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do this, it's way quicker than curling your hair with a curling iron or flattening with a flat iron. If you take the time to do this, it's gonna stay like that until you wash it out. So it's totally worth it. And it ends up in the long run, definitely saving time. The next day, if there's any areas that I want to touch up a little bit, I just take the crimper and touch them up. Like, look how gorgeous that is, you guys. Look at the difference. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Girl, you should wear a name tag. No, I can't forget, no. Forget what? 
when I saw you on the dance floor. Oh, I saw you who saw me first. I guess it's history now, and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts. I didn't realize. Now, with the top layer, just decide if you want to part it in the center or on the side. I'm just going to flip a little piece over so it's kind of straight here and then just one piece over to the side. Girl, you should wear a name tag. It's too important to be your name. People go and say when you walk by. Girl, you should wear a name tag. So as you can see, I don't go all the way up to the top. I like the um, root part to be straight and smoothed out. So I'm just going to start down a little bit lower away from the roots. And that is how quick it is, you guys. So this is before I even like fluff it or touch it or anything. So if you like the really neat waves, you don't even don't even touch it. Just you can put some hairspray in, and that's it. Um, what I'm gonna do is kind of fluff it with my fingers a little bit, and it gives it just so much beautiful volume. I just kind of rake my fingers through it like this, and you can see just like these waves are not going anywhere. So you see the difference between this side and the other side after it's like fluffed up gives you just so much volume versus this more, this is more of like a chic, um, clean, smooth look. They're both beautiful, but give a totally different look. Now if you want, you can add some hairspray. I love this Dove hairspray, not because it's any better than any other hairspray, it just smells amazing. it you guys it almost looks like I went to bed with braids in my hair but the ends are uniform like the rest of the hair and oh, I love this thing so much now I literally don't have to touch my hair until I wash it again and I wake up and this is what it looks like I may have to take this and just touch up a couple of little places maybe but usually not it just stays perfect Another thing you can do is, since I styled it this way, if you wanna flip it the opposite way, see how much more volume it gives you? It just really puffs it up, gives you so much volume. Another way that I love to wear it is I take the bangs, just this little piece, and I tuck it behind my ear. I feel like this is such a cute look, so it kind of overlaps like this. It keeps the hair out of my eyes. And 
also you can take like a little clip and just clip the bangs like that. This is like a super cute look. The perfect beachy mermaid hair. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. Again, I will link everything down below in the description box for you guys. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this and how you like it, or if you do, please let me know. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. You can also click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all of the videos that I upload. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye.